Fuck. <laughs> no. What's up, people? So today is the first day of trying to make this place a bit more inhabitable. And I've already started, so you know, just using the broom. Yeah, so what we want to do today is uh, add a few things. And firstly, I want to remove the inner walls and on both sides, so I need to remove this as well. And then add some insulation underneath that. So yeah, we're gonna start with that as like ghetto solution to this. <laughs> and also I got this from a friend. It's like a three piece foldable mattress. And I don't really want to sleep on the floor, so I need to build something that gets you up. And uh, preferably that you can also fold away. And store it somewhere as well. So yeah. No, it's not gonna be one of those YouTuber camper van luxurious retreat type situations. This is just about, you know, being able to sleep in this car, not doing like super fancy pants Instagram photos. <laughs> Seriously can't understand where. Oh, it's over here. It's just bolted straight into the into the side wall there. This thing is quite heavy. I mean, it has like a work system on it, so it's gotta be quite heavy. Fuck. <laughs> Alternations! I think I will be just stupid to put it out of the car. I can just put it in the middle here and then leave it like that, and it's gonna be perfect. No, but. Uh, so you just need to access the wall, and wall has been accessed.
Okay, so I may or may not have gotten a bit a bit violent and broke this part, but yeah. so the way I see it is that it's two most important things about building a a van or something to sleep in, and it's uh, ventilation and uh, insulation. So this is the insulation, and if you look at the car right now. It's wide open, so that's the ventilation. And of course, in the future, I want to, you know, install roof vents and stuff. But I mean, summer is now, and I don't want to wait and just wait for all the parts and building and stuff. So I'm just gonna, you know, have it like this when I sleep in it, adding like an outside tent part, and that's gonna be enough for the ventilation when stationary. So yeah, it's time to add the the insulation. That's gonna and that's gonna help uh, the car to be a bit more cool when it's out in the sun and a bit more warm when it's cold outside. Now this stuff is not very nice to work with, so that's why I'm wearing gloves. Also not that good to breathe in, so. Hopefully this is going to be contained within the walls. It's going to be like one panel per, per side here. So I'm just going to estimate how much I need here. And use the knife. Here I think there's some sort of ventilation thing. So I'm just going to remove the part there. But here we can just... Yeah, it's going to be like... Something like this, and then down. So I'm just gonna cut this away. And this is not an exact science, so yeah, that should really be possible. I was a bit lazy and didn't remove all the screws or all the plugs, that is. But I think this is going to work. <laughs> okay, so it's uh, bulging a bit. But, you know, that's just fine. I don't really care. Just dividing this into two parts is going to be the best, best bet here. Because there's this supporting beam going down the middle of the of the panel in the car, so two parts on each side of that thing should be good. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know what I said before about violence not being the answer? I think this was the living proof that I was right. But I just simply can't relax. Now this car was actually in quite good shape when I got it. I'm getting the feeling that it may not be in the same good shape in a few moments here. Okay, so all the lower ones are done, so I'm just going to plug them back up and then do this, these uh, higher ones. Temporary, so it will stay up while I just screw in this board.
the mattress takes up quite a lot of space. So I actually want to create this sort of ledge thing. The only problem is that this thing is going to be like in the middle of whoever's sleeping in there. And I have to cut the mattress as well. But I think it's going to be good because then you can just store stuff underneath and uh, yeah. It's uh, I think it should work. Yeah, we built this terrace thing a few years ago. And actually still have some boards left from that, I think. Oh, and by the way, look at my all natural non-GMO potato thing field. Anyways, so here we have a few boards. Uh, I guess, yeah, this should do it. Yes. I should use these ones. They're like, probably the correct length even. Okay, so I need to make the supporting supporting frame for the bed. And it's a bit less than 120, so I'm gonna make these ones like 122. And that should be enough. And the bed is just about 2 meters. I'm gonna have one that goes along the whole length. And if you want to know how to keep it straight, just look at it. See? Perfect. If you're wondering why this one is a bit shorter than the others, is that I, uh, I didn't really feel like getting another board, so that's what I had left. Maybe I will get the board to put it on top, like that, we'll see. Uh, maybe, yeah, I should do that. But now I need some supporting legs for this. 42, around 42. Maybe. Um, That one is also around 42. I'm gonna see if I can find some of these logs. It actually looks level. I think we got something here. Yeah, now I can stow away all the uh, packing and the bags and shit underneath. And during the daytime, I think I can have room for my bikes here. Hopefully they won't hit the roof. I'm pretty sure there are animals living here. It's been standing outside for a long time. But... So I'm getting the feeling that this one is going to slip away if I take a steep turn. So I'm just going to add this webbing here. Like that. Now you may be thinking, what the fuck bro? That's not good. Well, I have this evil plan. Hoping I won't regret this. <laughs> oh 
Oh God. In my eyes, this is quite nice. We're supposed to sleep two people in here. Okay, I'm gonna give this a shot. <laughs> I don't think this is a good idea. It's like... Wow. Very comfortable. <laughs> it's gonna be great. It's like, you can't really move anywhere, so... You don't really have a choice. A comfortable experience. Yes. Ah, you can't wake up too fast because you can do that. Don't mind the, the iron rod between your legs. That is fucked up. Wow. Now get in there, you filthy animal. I can't sleep so fast. <laughs> My prostitute is in there. Yeah, it's uh, very good. I'm gonna call it a day here. I think, yeah, I need to add a board so this doesn't happen. Otherwise, pretty much set. And this just proves that you don't need a billion dollar Instagram van life. Well, what's that sound? 